We've warned you all week about this dangerous extreme heat. Now we're seeing the worst possible outcomes. This afternoon, the Spokane County Medical Examiner told us seven people died of suspected heat-related illness in this heat wave. Rania Kaur is live with what we know about the people who died. Rania. Aaron, Nia, we don't know a lot. We do know they range in, from a man in his 30s to a woman in her 60s, and there is also another man in his 70s. Autopsies will be done to determine exactly what happened, but we do know that they either didn't know or chose not to use these cooling centers designed to keep people cool and safe. Battling high temperatures the past few days, Fire Chief Brian Schaefer says they kind of knew what to expect. We doubled our emergency medical volume in every day in a 24-hour period the last few days. That's an expectation. Anytime we have a loss of life, that is certainly not expected. Details coming out about those that died as a result of the high temperatures, he reminds everyone to use their tragedy as a lesson learned. Oftentimes, when we see our body respond to uh, that that exceptional heat event, it's oftentimes a late sign. Here are some reminders about what to watch out for. Heat exhaustion can quickly turn to heat stroke. Call 911 if someone has a throbbing headache, nausea or vomiting, and a loss of consciousness. And watch out for your neighbors, especially those in vulnerable positions. My advice as a lesson learned for people that may be in the similar situation is to call early. Call early and try to um, try to get help right away because that's not something that ever gets better over time. There are resources available, cooling centers, the city says are being underutilized. We've had about 20 people at any one time, but typically it's, it's ones and twos. And a lot of times there's plenty of space available in those cooling centers that are, is not being utilized. Now, we cannot reiterate this enough. Hydration is key. Schaefer recommends people start hydrating 48 hours before they go outside. Now, there is help available, including calling 311. In Spokane, Ron Yacor, 4 News Now.